Welcome back to Electrical Power Plus. In this video, I will try to explain about Restricted Earth Fault Protection. The ANSI code for Restricted Earth Fault Protection is 64R. There are two types of RF protection. One is high, high impedance RF scheme and other is low impedance RF scheme. In this video, I will try to explain about the high impedance RF scheme first. This is something about high impedance RF scheme. I will explain how this scheme is built and how it will work. Its name is Restricted Earth Fault. It is little bit different from the normal earth fault. In normal earth fault, if earth fault occurs, the dedicated relay for earth fault protection will operate. But it will not tell the location of the earth fault. It will not give any information about the zone that, for example, if there is power transformer, high voltage and low voltage winding, and its low voltage winding is, for example, 33, 33 kV or 13.8 kV, and it's going to feed the distribution system. If there is an earth fault at any point of the distribution feeder, there is the chances that the earth fault protection of the transformer or the feeder or the incomer will operate. This operation will not uh, confirm 100% about the location of the earth fault. In this case, we need some other earth fault protection, the restricted earth fault. This works only for specific zone. For example, as uh, shown in figure, we have a power transformer with uh, its uh, one winding in delta and other winding is in uh, star. The winding which is in star is usually applied for the restricted earth fault because in the star we have neutral connection available and we place here the neutral CT. In the high impedance RF scheme, the sum of phase CTs is combined with the neutral CT as shown in the figure. Now for the balance condition, for example, the three phase current is running. So when three phase current, for example, 100 ampere in red phase, 100 in yellow, 100 in blue phase is running. So it means the summation would be zero because there is a balance current. Okay. When there is a balance means zero and there is no earth fault condition, also no current flowing through the neutral. So this relay, this R is the, our, the restricted earth fault relay, it will be stable. Because it's the, it's the high impedance relay, we need to connect this stabilizing resistor because due to CT inefficiencies or due to external fault condition, maybe the little current would follow. To limit this current, we need this stabilizing resistor and also we need one metro cell. You can see uh, one single pole or three pole metros will be need in parallel to this relay and resistor because uh, in the case of an external fault, the high secondary voltage will develop and uh, if high secondary voltage will develop, there is a chance to that uh, high current could, uh, can flow through this, uh, this relay and it can operate the relay and even it can burn our resistor if the current continuously passed. So we what we did, we apply the one metro cell the purpose of the metro cell is, I mean, this metro cell is the variable resistor. It's the voltage variable resistor. If voltage across it is going to increase, its resistance will get to, going to decrease and it will pass the current through this, uh, this part in, instead of this uh, relay. Because this is the external fault and we don't want uh, an external fault to operate our RF. Uh, this is the one kind of differential relay. Okay, The difference between unbalanced, uh, unbalanced current and the neutral current will flow through this uh, this relay. There is an example for RF high impedance scheme out of zone fault condition. When there is a fault, for example, at outside of this zone, this relay will be stable. How it will be stable? There is a line to ground fault. So the current will flow from to earth. Okay. Now a neutral point of the transformer, this is a transformer and it's also connected to ground. So what will happen, the current will flow to ground and it take the ground path and it will return back to the neutral and it will go to our neutral point of the transformer. This current will flow from this neutral city also. As you know, the current entering into P1 or P2 of primary will leave from respectively from S2 or S1 of the secondary side. Similarly, here the current is passing through this phase city. So it's uh, entering at the, this terminal. So the secondary current will leave the same terminal. Now this current will take uh, the path like this. Because both currents are equal. Whatever the current is passing through this blue CT, the same current will flow through the neutral CT. It means that both the secondary current will be same. The secondary current of uh, this neutral secondary current and this the unbalanced uh, secondary current. This both will be same due to low magnet magnetizing inductance of other CT. For example, 
when there is a primary current of the CT, its magnetizing impedance is low. So the current instead of taking this high impedance path, there is a high impedance and resistor, it will take a surely the low impedance path. The low impedance path is provided by this CT. Uh, whenever there is a current in the primary side of the CT, its current side of a low magnetizing inductance. So the current can easily flow. So instead of taking the high impedance path of the relay, the unbalanced and the neutral current will continue to flow from respective CT secondary circuit and the relay will be stable in this case. Now I will discuss about the case where fault happened at blue phase internally near blue phase winding of the transformer as you are seeing at the screen. This fault could be inside the transformer winding or it could be near to neutral point of the transformer. So what will happen, the current will flow to the ground and it will pass through the neutral CT. But because this current is not going to the phase CT, because the fault is before the phase CT, so there will be no current here, okay. And because of the no primary current, the CT will offer high magnetizing inductance. Because of this high magnetizing inductance, if any other current available in the circuit, it will try to pass through low impedance path. So in this case, uh, now current, primary current is passing through neutral CT, so it will uh, generate the secondary current. Now this secondary current of the, this secondary neutral current has two options. One is to pass through this relay, and other is to pass through this CT. Now in this case, no primary current available at the phase CT, so this phase CT is offering very high magnetizing inductance, the, which is much, much more than the, this relay path. So in this case, uh, the current will flow, the neutral current will flow from this resistor. Uh, so this resistor and the relay. And uh, whenever the current will pass through the relay, the relay will operate and this resistor and fault will trip the circuit breaker of the transformer. So in this case, uh, it's uh, very sensitive to internal fault and it's very sensitive to in-zone faults. If this relay operate, sure we will, we have a good idea that the fault is somewhere inside our zone. Some other configuration for high impedance schemes are also available. I will show you downside. If you see, there are three configurations available. One is three wire plus earth REF. This one, same I have explained you. Total four CT, three phase, one neutral. If I show you here, one, two, three phase and four neutral. This is a simple scheme which I show you. And the second is four wire REF. Now, the neutral is also going as a wire. Here, the neutral is transformer neutral or whatever the equipment generator, its neutral is directly going to ground. But in the second case, the neutral is going somewhere in the panel or somewhere it's extending. So we will place this uh, CT at the neutral. You can see the uh, difference between the first and second. The configuration of the CT is same. You can see all four CTs are parallel here and all four CTs are parallel also here. But now the neutral is going only to any other place. The third one is a little bit different. This is a 5 CT arrangement. 5 CT mean uh, red, yellow, blue, neutral. This 4 CT. And then again the neutral CT. This is the uh, 5 CT arrangement. Like this we can also make our restricted earth fault protection. Thank you so much for watching this video. About low impedance I will make another video. Thank you. Goodbye.